Would you like push button money? Like, would it be valuable to you if you only had to push a certain button and money was flowing into your business? Now, you may think that's only a fantasy, but the truth is it can be a real thing. It's actually only a matter of setting up a few systems. And when that's done, you can just keep pushing that button whenever you, whenever you want and thereby scaling your business as much as you'd love. Would that be beneficial to you? And as a matter of fact, today, we're going to be talking about exactly how you can do that. I'm awesome, Angie Ingstrom. And I'm Gita Afgar. And today we have a special guest, Marcos Garcia. We're so excited to have him here. So, yeah, welcome to Marcos. And, Thank you uh, very much. I'm, you're welcome. And I'm just going to start out by, by reading uh, his bio. Now, Marcus is a go-to expert when it comes to strategic paid advertising. So we, we're really thrilled to have him here with us today. And um, not only is Marcus good at elevating coaches and consultants by use of strategic advertising, but we also love the fact that Marcus' approach is, is really rooted in honesty, transparency, relentless pursuit of excellence, embodying his brand pillars, which are personal growth, loyalty, and resilience. So we're thrilled to have you here today. It's Thanks a for pleasure to be on, on the show. Like I said, this is my <laughs> first podcast ever, and I'm glad to be here. That's so Great. awesome. Welcome, Marcos. <laughs> Yay. So we'll start off with the first big question. What inspired you to get started in your business? So there was a uh, lots of things that inspired me to start my business. One um, goes all the way back to whenever I was working my first job as a city worker. Um, job was great, but there was just something in me that was like, you need more, like you need more and you need to do more because like, although I was good and I was helping a few people with like water leaks and stuff like that, it just wasn't fulfilling enough for me. I knew that there was something bigger that I should be doing and I just didn't know what it was. The second thing that what it that pushed me was there's a guy in my city that I worked with. His name was Larry. Larry was the the type of worker that at a job that everyone has to deal with. Like there's always that one worker that you're like, man, like this guy gets on my nerves. Like, but I I feel like you need those people. You need the Larrys, you need the people pushing you, whether that's in a negative way or a bad way, because overall, like looking backwards, it really pushed me to, to get out of there. If, if Larry wasn't there, I might have stayed working for this. I still might be working for the city. So don't always look at people who, who are like, who, who treat you bad or married, they just get on your nerves and you're just like, man, like, why can't life be easier? Those people are there to push you to get you to the next level. The other thing was after working for the city, I, I moved and started working for sales and marketing. And I, was, I landed a job at the TV station. One thing I noticed was the, the clients I was working with, TV just wasn't that thing. Being like a millennial, I was like, yo, TV is not like nobody's watching TV. I was selling like thousands of thousands of dollars of packages for people to put their advertising on TV. And I'm just like, no, I don't even watch TV. Like it didn't even feel ethical at some point. I was like, this is like honestly stealing their money. So after uh, like six months of working for the TV station, something popped up on Facebook. It was an advertisement. Uh, his name is Jeremy Haynes. Jeremy Haynes, he used to work for Grant Cardone. He works for all the big advertising advertising people out there. And he's talking about helping people run their marketing on Facebook, Instagram, like online. I'm like, this is the new wave. Like, believe it or not, TV, billboards, newspaper, those are the old ways. Facebook, TikTok, right now, those are the new ways. So I started diving deep more in like what he's offering and stuff like that. I built a agency back in 2020. So I built my first agency back in 2020. So this is where we can get like, we're going to get a little bit more personal. And this is where I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of give you a story of like where I went to rock bottom. Hmm. So uh, after I started learning from Jeremy, I built my first agency and I was working with clients. I was doing around, I got my highest point was like 
$8,000 per month. I was helping clients, mainly local clients. I didn't take Jeremy's full advice when he said the, the type of clients I needed to be working with. So I started working with local clients. I kind of learned that strategy from working with the TV station. And because I didn't take Jeremy's advice, when COVID hit, I was stuck out of a business. And I want to, I, I want to blame it on COVID, but more importantly, it was because of my own actions. When COVID hit, I ended up moving from my original town, Victoria, Texas, all the way to Austin, Texas. I, I got, I got fearful. I was like, okay. I was like every other business, not every other business owner, but I was like the business owner who was like, man, COVID hit. People are retreating. No one wants to advertise anymore. I need to go get a job, something more safety. And that was the opposite of why I even started my business in the first place. I quit my job because like I know that it's unsafe and I know the potential. But um, so I, I quit the I quit the I didn't quit my agency, but I I, I got a job, a part time job. I said it was only going to be for about three to six months. Turns out I was there for three years. And I'm still there now. So when when COVID hit, I got I got the job. I started drinking more. I, it's a bartending job. Um, I started working at a bar, started drinking more, and my business was just going downhill at a fast pace. And like I said, I want to blame it on COVID, but it really was not COVID. It was the fact that I chose to drink alcohol, which is why I preach today. And one of my brand, my core brand messages is stay sober because I know if you're stay sober, if you're a business person, if you're a business person and you're trying to make a lot of money, Stay sober because it can really send you backwards. So if you think about it, I'm working a job 70 hours per week. I'm also trying to grow business, but I'm using my free time to drink alcohol, which means I don't really have any time to grow a business. And I had to learn that, learn that the hard way. So thank God I'm 14 months sober now. I've learned my lesson the hard way, which uh, for some reason, I like to learn all my lessons the hard way. But I'm 14 months sober now, and I really believe that if, like, not drinking alcohol is going to really propel, propel me to getting to the next level. It's really going to mm -hmm. propel me whenever I'm working with coaches and consultants with their marketing. They need someone who's sober. You know what I mean? They need mm -hmm. someone who's, who's, who's working with their advertising, who's not going out on the weekends and getting drunk. I, I follow marketers. I follow digital brands, and I look at their stories and stuff like that. And they're cheersing away every weekend. Cheers, cheers. Mm. I believe that my downfall from the going to work at a bar, learning the hard way was more of an advantage for me now because I'm coming back stronger, 10 times stronger. I, re I recently reinvested with Jeremy. He's, uh, he's got a whole new training program out and this is more advanced than what I was learning before from him. So I could have been doing this three years ago, but like I said, I learned the hard way and I'm doing it now. And I'm here to help coaches and consultants propel, get to that next level with paid advertising because they can only get so, so far with their current skills and with their current time. And mm -hmm. I feel like no matter how good you are, what you do, you only have a certain amount of time in the day and you can't do all the work yourself. So that's where I'm going to come in. That's awesome. So it's paid advertising that you focus on. Paid, yes, yeah, strictly paid advertising. We're focusing on generating your revenue because at the end of the day, when a coach or consultant or business owner, whoever it is, hires you, hires me, they're looking at how much money you brought them the next month. Mm -hmm. I could say, oh, I posted five to six pieces of content. I, I did this. I, I sent this many emails. They don't care about that. They're looking, if they spend 50 to 100K on advertising, they're going to want to know, did they get that back? And that's very important. Absolutely. Okay, so, 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 so it's Facebook primarily or exclusively you're doing? So if, I always recommend starting with one platform, especially when coaches mm -hmm. and consultants don't have a big budget. A lot of them like to, to diverse and go to like Facebook, Instagram, like Facebook and Instagram are the same, but like Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and they put all their money in so many different spots. They don't really ever grow. Once you grow on one platform, then you can move to, the, to more and more platforms. Mm -hmm. But I posted this on Facebook and it, and it holds true. I mean, Jeremy Haynes wouldn't say this for no reason. 
if a coach or consultant is not spending $100 a day minimum on advertising, they're not even breaking, they're not, they're not going to see results, like the results they want. They need to be spending minimum $100 per day to even, mm. the reason is, is you're not going to get enough data back to make decisions and your, and your time's going to be slow. You're going to be moving slow. And if you want to move with speed and get the right data back, you have to spend the right amount of money. Mm. So yes, your question was, is it just Facebook? Facebook first is where I kind of like to start, but then okay. move to, to move. You don't want to be stuck just on Facebook if you have like a large budget. No. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. So your your expertise on paid advertising is Facebook and what other platforms? I'll be honest with you. My my expertise right now are strictly Facebook and Instagram. I have yeah. not even dived mm -hmm. off into the YouTube and stuff like that because I really want to just be like that expert right now in, in one thing. That's perfect. That's actually yep. perfect because they're, yeah. they're so different on, on their platforms. So that's wonderful that you're honed in on that. Wonderful. All right. Yeah. So if you should mention an ideal client, what kind of person would that be or what kind of business would it be? So my ideal client, if you think of someone, my ideal client, the person I'm really looking for, it's the person who has hit a certain, a certain, they're making over, they're making around $100,000 per month. But they mm -hmm. they either hit like a certain threshold where they where they can't do some like they're doing like because there's people out there doing a hundred thousand dollars per month and they haven't spent a single dollar on advertising. It could mm -hmm. be strictly organic. Um, it's gonna be that person. He they have a hundred thousand dollars, they're ready to scale, they're ready to do over a million dollars a month, and they just don't have the time to focus, like I said, on everything on their business. The biggest constraint for them is time. They have mm. so many things in their coaching business that they need to do, which is like, they need to make sure the customers are happy. They need to make sure um, there's no like complaints. If there's complaints, if you have one broken system in your business, it can ru really ruin like mm. halt the whole thing. So like I said, they have so many things to focus on. They need, um, and then they have to go focus and be an expert marketer, or they have to be an expert at this and this and this. They It's just not sustainable. So they became what they're an expert in, but they also have to hire other experts to fulfill spots mm -hmm. in their business to True. go to the next level. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So, <laughs> so a business owner that specifically coaches and consultants, would you say? Or I, I want to specifically work with coaches and consultants. The reason is, is one day I want to be a coaching consultant. And I feel like I, why not, why work with any other business other than something you're interested in? And I, I love Sam Ovens. I love, uh, Dan Henry, Jeremy Haynes, like Grant Cardone, the public figures like that, they all mm -hmm. like resonate with me. And so I want to help the next person just like them blow up. So if you're the next Grant Cardone, Jeremy Haynes, Dan Henry, Sam Ovens, let's connect and let's get you to the next level. I love that. That's so awesome. All right. Gidi, do you want to go next? Yeah. Yeah, I actually wanted to, to ask, do, do you have a specific process, some kind of system when you get new clients and you just lead them through it? Or could you speak into that? So you're talking about a specific process on how the, mm -hmm. that I'm going to get them customers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so when, 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 when someone hires you, what does that look like? So when they hire, I'm going I'm to be real. So... I'm getting into it. I have partnered up with other agencies as well. So like, and when you're, when you're like, so imagine this, say you're, say it's just you, right? You're, you're going into a war, right? And it's just you, but you're going to go against an army with a hundred people. You have a better chance of succeeding when you partner with other, other people who are mm -hmm. just like you, you got a better chance of like, Hey, like I'm going to war, but if this guy destroys me, he's going to destroy you next. And then he's also going to destroy you next too. <laughs> so I learned the hard way when you're, when you're growing an agency, you are also constricted on time, right? So there's, there's certain things mm -hmm. you have to do in your business. You have to get customers, mm -hmm. you have to do the results for the customers, and then you have to make sure those results are, are good. So the two biggest things are getting customers and getting results. When you mm -hmm. get customers, it slows it. When you, when you finally get your first customer, it slows you down to get more customers because now you're fulfilling the work. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Yeah. So 
I've partnered with other experts that Jeremy Haynes is teaching other experts who are helping coaches and consultants do millions of dollars per month. And so you asked for the specific process. I can't give you that mm -hmm. just yet because my, my job is to, is to network and get clients right now. And the reason I've taken this aspect is because I kind of taken a little bit from the, for a little bit of advice from the bar industry where I worked at when I was a bartender, before I was a bartender, I started off at the very bottom. I started off washing dis dishes, like like the grunt work. I was doing all the grunt work. Mm -hmm. And then I moved up to bartender and then I moved up to manager. And now I'm at the highest part of the, the totem pole and there, I can't go anymore over there. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm starting this new agency back up, I really want to start at the bottom. I really want to see how, how this business, every aspect of the business works, where it sells, marketing, boom, boom, boom. I don't believe I can learn that all at one time. Don't get me wrong. I'm still learning. I know if I, if, if a coaching consultant was to come to me and say, Hey, I want you to run my advertising, I could do it, but I've partnered with other people. That way I can streamline the process more. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? So, yeah. so are you kind of like a general contractor for a business's marketing team? Like they, you're like the point person. No, I have my own agency. Right. Like you're, yeah, you yeah, so. are, yeah. So you're the agency that makes sure the work gets done for the client. Well, not only, okay. So I, I didn't partner with thousands of people. I just partnered with one or two people. Mm -hmm. And th these two partners know exactly what they're doing when it comes to, to online advertising. The reason I did that is because if I'm, if I was, since I'm starting my agency back up and I'm talking to it, say you're a, you're doing a hundred thousand dollars per month. All right. And I'm like, Hey, I want to work with your business and I want to scale you up to the next level. And you're like, okay, well, let me see your results. And I'm like, I don't honestly, I don't have any results right now. You're most likely not going to take me that seriously. You know what I mean? You're not going to take me mm -hmm. seriously. So I need to work with people who are already getting results. I need to, I need to work with them, partner with them let their work show. And then as, as they're growing, I'm going to grow too. Does that make sense? Hmm. Kind of like, so I'm just trying to envision this. Like if, uh, like, can we hire you right now? Like, is that something? Yes, you can hire me right now. Okay. That's all I'm trying right to now. establish. Yes. So if we hire yes. you right now, what does that process look like for me as the business owner? What yeah. So you hire me right now. Okay. I'm going, we're, we're going to jump on a call me, you and my, one of my partners. I'm going to see what we're going to see what your business needs, where you are. And can we get you to that next level? Are you ready to go? Is your offer or is your, are you, if you're on school or whatever platform you're on, is that ready to be able to scale? We're looking for things like that. Then once we do that, we're looking at data. We're literally data driven. Like we have, we look at every piece of data. All right. We drove this much traffic. Okay. This many people, uh, initiated a checkout, whether they're enrolling into your course or whatever, this many people purchased. We're once we get the data, once you're spending enough money, like I said, you got to spend a hundred dollars a day minimum. If not, it could take us six months to get the, the data we could get in one month. We look at the data. All right. We're figuring out where's the bottleneck. Where's the bottleneck in your business? And once we find that, fix it, run another month. The goal is just to, it's, it's, it's super simple, but most people try to make it more complex. Get the data, find the bottleneck, fix the bottleneck, and then keep pushing traffic through. I love it. Okay. That's the money. That's the money. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So during this whole process, when someone's working with you, a business owner is working with you, what holds them back either from starting to work with you or like during the process, like what holds people back during all this? So I think one thing that holds people back is everyone's a marketer nowadays. You know what I mean? And anyone there's, mm -hmm. they have so many people hitting them up in the DM DMS, like, Oh, Hey, like the biggest thing that's going to be for me to get their attention is one, a content engine machine. Sam Ovens talks about having a content engine machine. How am I going to stand out from the person, from the hundreds of thousands of agency owners who bought a course mm -hmm. from whoever knows who or saw something on YouTube and now they're an agency owner? How am I going to stand out from them and build trust? And honestly, they don't, they don't have any reason to trust me. You know what I mean? 
They don't, I don't have the clients that I'm working with right now. So the biggest thing when it comes to, to working with people and, and things like that is you have to build trust. So that is the number one reason why they, I feel like they wouldn't do business is they just don't trust. They don't trust you or they don't trust that it's going to work their money. They don't trust it either. They might have a, they might have a, a bad experience with Facebook as well. Something might have happened. They're like, Oh yeah, Facebook. I don't, I don't like Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, Facebook just went down the other day actually. So I don't want to give my money to them because who knows that might crash pretty soon. Um, but I think any business owner who wants to go to that next level, who wants to scale, they're looking for someone who has proven results. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you're going to trust like hundreds of thousands of dollars, you want to work with someone who has proven results, which is why I feel like it's, it's a smart idea to par partner with someone who already has those results. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else you think that's holding people back from working from you, except from, from that no like and trust? The only other thing is they just don't know who I am. And that's my fault. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. They don't know who I am. I was out of the game for almost three years out drinking alcohol and partying. So uh, I got a lot of work to do. Tons. Well, you certainly have a heart for it. I, I can definitely tell that. I love mm -hmm. your authenticity. You'd yep. be a lot of fun to work, work with. Yeah. Yeah. The enthusiasm. I believe it's going to work. I believe in it. It's going to work so much that I invested $5,000 and literally half of my income or half of my net worth. Cause I had $10,000 saved up. I invested half of it just to become that expert in digital marketing. Cause I know that time is everyone's enemy. We don't get enough time in the day. So you take a coaching consultant, they're doing, they're doing like two or $300,000 a month. They, or everyone's trying to get a hold of them. Their time is very precious and they're trying to do whatever they can to not to, to save every minute. Mm -hmm. Oh. And yeah, so as a business owner, uh, yeah, it's definitely important for them to have a marketing. See, I would call you like my marketing arm is what I would call you. Like you'd be the marketing team for our business. And yes, so like correct. you're you would be the eyes on the data making sure that whole thing is humming so that I don't have to think about it. That's, Correct. Yeah. Wonderful. And a lot of people think that you need to be like, cause there's two things when people think of like marketer and brand, like agency and stuff like that. Some business owners think, Oh yeah, he's the guy that's going to post all my content. Like he's going to distribute all my content everywhere. He's going to build my funnels and all this stuff. We only strictly focus on what can bring you money. We don't focus on any like postings. We're not worried about mm -hmm. that. If it don't bring you money, we don't touch it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I've, I've also heard like, so there's paid advertising, but then there's also organic marketing as well, yep. you know, like social and whatever, all the organic. But even though it's quote free, you're not paying for organic. It's not free. Like there's a lot of time that goes into that. So I, I, I'm just thinking from the perspective of a business owner, um, if you are out there and you're doing the organic free advertising, then, you know, it's not free. It really is not free. And you could find well, yeah. that extra money to invest in someone, you know, like the agency that Marcos has, you know, because the money's there somewhere. <laughs> um, it's just how are you applying it in the market? Yeah, it's not it's free. Definitely... Go ahead. I, I was just going to say people often want to pay for speed. And that's what you're giving them, actually. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're taking them to the next level. Organic works okay, mm -hmm. but like when you're ready to scale and you make millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. per month, organic's not going to do it. Bingo. Yeah. That's that's what I wanted to hear. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. No, it's powerful what you do, and you've certainly got a heart for it. And I love your enthusiasm and your drive to always be, you know, learning and growing and marketing. Oh my gosh, it's changing like every single day. And you know, we're not even talking AI <laughs> and what that's doing for the for all of it. That's um, a whole another. That's a whole another ball game. Before you know it, AI might even replace me one day. You might have that AI marketer that's gonna do your marketing and all that for you. I, I get things possible. in my email about that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's fascinating. Um, 
But to have good people in your corner that have the eyes on the marketing, the data numbers, like, and, and know what the data means, like to, you know, open up Facebook, you know, uh, you know, the back end office and like read all these numbers, like, ah! mm -hmm. and for someone yeah. like you to come in and know what it all means and what, what to look at and what not to look at and what, what buttons to click and unclick. And like, that's a whole thing. Well, people think when they <laughs> hire me. People think when they hire me, they just get me. But what they're actually getting is advice from 500 marketers. I'm working, not only am I learning from the best, like I'm, I'm, I'm not bragging when I say he's the best, he's the best. Not only am I working with the best marketer in the game, there's also people in his community course, things like that, who are even better than he is. And so mm -hmm. they're getting like, they're getting me plus 500, an army of 500 where I can literally say like, oh, this happened to my client response fixed simple that's powerful so, i hope everybody yeah. out there heard that you know listeners that's that was powerful so that's super awesome Gini, did you have something to add yeah i i just wanted to say that actually by by, by outsourcing your marketing your paid advertising to a guy like marcus it, it frees your time up to focus on the things that you're best at doing like serving your customers correct so, very correct Absolutely. Well, before we wrap up, Marcos, is there anything else you want to share before we ask you the final question? Is there anything I want to share? <laughs> Nothing that I can think of. The only thing I would share is stop drinking alcohol. <laughs> if there's anything that I can share, stay sober because I would hate for your business to go downhill because you made a decision to drink every weekend and then it got worse and worse and worse and worse. And then here you are years later trying to rebuild back up. So that would be my advice. That's a massive and message. Yeah, it was Sam yeah. Ovens. The reason why I don't drink alcohol is because um, Sam Ovens said this. One, it's $100 per hour for drinking alcohol. Like that's how much money you're spending over time. Two, mm -hmm. if you, he also said, if you want to make a lot of money, just don't drink alcohol because like the effects and the recovery and all the stuff that like mm -hmm. comes with drinking is not worth it. So that'd be my advice. That's something I push on like my channel and stuff like that is like sobriety. And um, that stems from being a bartender and going down that path. That's awesome. Yeah. No, your mm -hmm. message is so powerful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. All right, then um, what would what should our listeners do next? So what you should do next is you should go to my YouTube channel, type in Marcos the G and subscribe to my channel. Awesome. Okay. I'm just going to repeat it if you didn't hear it. Go to YouTube and type in Marcos the G into your browser, your YouTube browser and subscribe. Let's do it. That's awesome. Yeah. It's been such a pleasure having you here. That was fun. It felt like a five minute podcast. Like, <laughs> it, went fast, it went fast, didn't it? Was it went so fast. I was, like, I was ready for more questions. But we, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's many, you know, if there's anything that comes to mind, we can hit it real quick. But otherwise, um, yeah, we're, we're out of time, I guess. Um, so thank you so much, Marcos, for joining us. And yeah, uh, thank welcome. you. Thank you listeners for being there on Momentum Maker Podcast and just keep the momentum and keep moving forward. Yeah, keep pushing forward. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't be like me. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. <laughs>